And I'm going through this fairly quickly. I mean, I'm not really doing the game justice because there's a lot more that can be said about each of those levels. It's just that I don't. I'm, I'm aware that this is a. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Like it's a fairly simple start, and I don't want to seem like I'm making a big deal out of really small things, but. But you know, like like the simple things are often the most important. Like the things you don't even notice. The the fact that you don't notice them is because they work, right? If a game doesn't work, then you'd notice. If a puzzle makes no sense, then you'd notice. If a puzzle works perfectly, or if a tutorial, let's say, that's probably better. Like if the tu tutorial works perfectly, you don't notice it's there because it's teaching you the game mechanics so well that you know, there's no problems with it at all. So the fact that, you know, the start of Portal is so smooth as you play it, and I mean, if you've played it before, I don't know if you remember the game that well. If you haven't played it before, then this is kind of ruining this, uh, the experience for you. But, like, they, they teach you these concepts so smoothly that you don't notice it happening a lot of the times. And all the clues and all the signs, like, you just think, oh, I, I figured this out, I'm so smart, when in fact, you know, you saw the arrows, you saw the symbols, you can hear GLaDOS telling you what to do, like, well, if you really think about it, you can be like, I'm not being that smart, I'm just following what they're telling me to do. And that's what a tutorial is, I guess. And maybe later on we can ask, you know, what's a puzzle? And to what extent? Ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities. Do not destroy vital testing apparatus. And you can break these two. That, that's For your a own safety. Do not destroy vital testing apparatus. That's a bit of a. It's an achievement if you break all the cameras. I don't think I've gotten that one yet. Anyway, that that's a another thing. It's a little extra thing for people who've played the game before or who who are really observant. But it's kind of funny, like breaking stuff. What was I saying just now? I can't even remember. Anyway, so now this this part, this level obviously teaches you about using portals to bypass obstacles. You can't jump over that. So uh, you need to use portals to get from or to get to places that you couldn't otherwise reach. So again, it's a fairly simple version of that idea. And uh, I'm just going to introduce that to you. Again, you see the border around where portals appear in the grid. Uh, making it easy for you to right line then. up. Remember, the aperture science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. Where did that come from? Was that on top of the, the camera? I think it was. I don't even notice that. Anyway, let's try to find the signal just because we can. I'm not gonna find them all, like... These are fairly easy here, but they get really difficult later on because... The signal is like, in the air somewhere, like here? Or like... I think the light chain, like, there's a green light on the radio there, I think if it... Huh. I don't even know where it is, I should stop playing with that, because that's not really an important part of the game. Except that... Ah, whatever. Okay, let's, let's not mess with that. You can look it up on YouTube or something. Alright, so... I think I've said pretty much... And again, like, the really simple levels. At least at the start. So, uh, there's no... complications. They're just teaching you basic mechanics here. And I guess it's... Int It 
might be worthwhile to talk about Valve's design process as well. I don't know how many of you. You're doing quite well. Again, positive reinforcement. You're doing quite well. Although you notice this time, she didn't tell you what to do. She didn't tell you how to solve the puzzle or what you need to do. Although you can see it here. There's the cube. There's the button. There's the line leading to the door. So you know, it's using the same language. As I said, consistency is important. And uh, anyway, I was saying it's probably important to talk about Valve's design process. They test games a lot. Like when they make a game, they'll keep testing it on people who will play it, and they'll they'll use that feedback to make sure that the like that the players enjoy the game. First of all. Not just to test for bugs and test for mistakes in the game, but to test the game design itself. So, you know, is this a fun game? Like, if we put the button here and put the clues here, like, do people understand the clues? Like, they tested. Like, they, they, they take game testing really seriously. And so, if you play any Valve game, any, or any new Valve game, like back, I guess from Half Life 2 onwards, if you play any new Valve game, you can be sure that. They've tested it on hundreds, of, if not thousands, of people, and they've made sure that everyone enjoys the game. And so that's why Valve games usually are quite fun to play. Anyway, again, we have the you know we have the obstacle of height, not being able to jump back up. That thing drops the cube into a hole, and so you have to use a portal to get out. Once again, excellent work. As part of a required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Right. Oh, this part. Like, you know, you might wonder why is that glass panel there? And, you know, well, first of all, let's go back a bit. I mean, obviously, with the glass panel and the transparency, we can see the cube dropping, we can see the door, we can see the button. So, again, it's showing you the whole problem. It's showing you the whole puzzle at from the very start. So, right when you walk in, you can see the whole puzzle there, or most of it. Obviously, you can't quite see the, the you know, the pit. But, you know, they make it so that you almost have to walk on the button. You might be tempted to just put a portal past the door and go through the portal, but yeah. You know, so they put the piece of glass there to make sure you can't do that. You have to pick up the the cube. So imagine if the glass wasn't there, then you wouldn't have to use the cube. Then you wouldn't have to deal with retrieving the cube from the pit. Whereas if they have a a solid wall there, then you couldn't see the puzzle. So, you know, they're, they're put into this situation where they have to use the piece of glass so that you can both see the whole puzzle at the start and you are made to, to retrieve the cube. So again, you know, these really subtle things with puzzle design that, you know, it, it, yeah, I mean, like, I don't want to keep repeating the same ideas over and over again, but you know, the consistency of the visual language showing you the whole puzzle from the start and, you know, introducing ideas to you one at a time and then letting you familiarize yourself with them. I mean, these are all marks of good puzzle games. Like, there's never any question about the game mechanics with Portal and, and that's one of the really successful aspects of this game, I think. You're never, you know, confused about what you can and can't do. And, uh, you know, puzzles... Like, yeah, okay, let's keep walking forward. Oh, that's why she says she's not gonna monitor us, she's not gonna say anything this time. Anyway, I was gonna say... Right, so the orange portal appears there as we walk in. 
and I was looking around, in fact, I shouldn't have been looking around, and if I just walked straight in, then we would see it appear, and again the bright orange against the white background makes it highly visible. And again you can see the whole puzzle in one glance. Door here, two X's, two buttons, a cube. I think there's, yeah, there's another cube in there as well, although you, I'm not sure if you need it or not anyway. What was I saying? I keep losing my train of thought. Oh, that's right, puzzles. I... I don't think that... Puzzle design should require you to try to figure out the rules. I think a good puzzle is one where they tell you what the rules are and then ask you to use those rules to figure out the solution. There's a radio again, you can see that. I think we can just... Oh no, we can't, because we can't get up there, can we? Alright, so we have to... come up here and get the cube. So again, it's fairly simple. I mean, it's, it's slightly more complicated than before. You have to pick up a cube from down here and a second cube from up there and you have to use the portals and all that, but... Even if you just stumble around, like there's no time constraints to to make it any like to make it unnecessarily difficult. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two. <laughs> so. Even there, like, they're introducing to you the idea that GLaDOS is lying to you. And then and they make it really obvious, too. Like, she tells you, okay, actually we were lying, like, she, GLaDOS herself tells you, actually I was lying to you before, we were actually monitoring you. And then she says, we'll stop enhancing the truth in 3, 2, and then it cuts off. So they're making it obvious that GLaDOS is lying, like, even there... I mean, I don't know if you've played the game, if you think that you were quite clever in figuring out that you were being lied to, but the fact is they're telling you <laughs> like they're making it really difficult to avoid the fact that GLaDOS is lying to you. And that's one of the things that's been praised as a success of this game, like even though it's a puzzle game even though Even though in solving these puzzles, like the game makes you feel like you've you know, achieved something difficult. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. Right, so they're telling you that that thing will kill you if it touches you. Anyway, so even though you, you know. The game makes it so that it seems like you're solving puzzles. The fact is, they're guiding you through most of it, especially at the start. 